Scarlowy the Brave. Scarlowy loves to puff through the hills on the island of Sodor. His favourite place is a pretty village high up in the mountains. But in the winter, the mountain village gets very cold. So it's important that the engines deliver coal to the village. The houses must be snug and warm. One morning, Reneus was delivering his empty trucks to the incline. The winch brings empty trucks up the incline and lowers full trucks down to be delivered to the villagers across the island. Reneus was frightened at the incline. It was very high. So Reneus shunted his trucks into place, then he backed quickly away. You are such a scaredy engine, laughed Scarlowy. I'm not scared of anything. Scarlowy thought he was the bravest engine in the world. But then, the winch's coupling broke. Oh no! Scarlowy steamed away as fast as he could. Scarlowy raced right past Thomas, who was waiting on the main line. He switched tracks and the trucks rolled past him, but they headed towards Rusty. Rusty hooted loudly to the signalman and changed the points. Soon the thin controller, Mr. Percival, arrived. Well done, Rusty, Mr. Percival said. You are a really brave engine. Thank you, sir, said Rusty proudly. But Scar Lowy wasn't happy. I want to be the bravest, huffed Scar Lowy. I want to show everyone that I'm the bravest engine of all. The next day, Scar Lowy was shunting trucks onto the incline. How can I prove I'm the bravest? He puffed to himself. Suddenly, Scarlowy had an idea. If I went up the hill on the winch, he puffed, then everyone will see how brave I am. The winch hooked onto Scarlowy's truck's coupling. Scarlowy was still coupled up, but he didn't tell the workmen. Slowly, Scar Lowy was pulled up the hill. When Reneus and Duncan arrived at the bottom of the incline, they gasped. Look at where Scar Lowy is, puffed Reneus. That is the bravest thing to do, chuffed Duncan. Duncan cheered and Reneus blew his whistle. Scar Lowy felt prouder than ever. Look at me, look at me, he puffed. At last, Scar Lowy reached the top of the incline. I'm the bravest engine in all the world, he called. But Scar Lowy was too heavy, and the winch broke. Whee! puffed Scar Lowy as he raced down the hill. But when he got to the bottom, he couldn't stop. Scar Lowy raced all the way to the transfer yards. He raced past a very surprised Thomas and straight into the snow. Mr. Percival was very cross. Scar Lowy, you have broken the winch, he said. The mountain village will get no coal today, and it is very cold. Scar Lowy felt very bad. The village won't be snug and warm, puffed Scar Lowy sadly. And it's all my fault. Suddenly, 
Scar Lowy had an idea. There's only one thing to do, he puffed. I will have to collect the coal myself. When Scarlowy arrived at the top of the incline, Reneus and Duncan had brought the supplies to repair the winch. Are you going to take the trucks down the incline without the winch? asked Duncan excitedly. That would be really brave, chuffed Reneus. Scarlowy wanted to show Reneus and Duncan how brave he was. But then he thought of the mountain village. No! said Scarlowy firmly, I'm going to take the coal to the village. So he puffed slowly and carefully back down the steep track. No one was there to see him working hard. No one cheered or blew their whistles, but it didn't matter. What mattered was getting the coal to the village. It was late when Scarlowy arrived at the village station. The villagers were very pleased to see Scarlowy, and they were pleased to have coal to make their home snug and warm. They cheered and cheered and cheered. Scarlowy was so proud it made his axles tingle. This is much better than showing everyone how brave I am, he puffed. And it certainly was. <laughs>